Hello again, Fleet Commanders. Just doing a real quick video here for you because we just got the brand new Zindi Armadas added to the game this morning, and I wanted to give you a little quick update because, well, these don't work the same way the other ones do. Uh, obviously, the Armadas themselves are going to be harder. They're only found out in Zindi G5 space, and I wanted to point out a couple things about them. Uh, first things, your directives are sourced through a weekly bundle. Uh, here, directives, you get a thousand uncommon directives per week. Don't get too excited. You think uncommons, we always think, well, they always cost a hundred, right? Solo armadas, regular FKR armadas, Cardassian armadas. One uncommon equals 100 directives. Uh, not this time around. These particular armadas here, let me grab the graphic real fast. Uncommon Zindi Armadas start in the level 53 systems, and they cost a full thousand, which means that you will get one free Armada start per week. The amount of credits are going to vary, obviously, based on the power of these new Armadas and the, the hostels that you're attacking uh, and the rewards that you're getting. I happen to be in the system right now. This is with the 56s. These are 46 billion power. Uh, they drop 2.95 million credits. Now, obviously, loot crews and things like that will uh, have an impact. But what do you get with that uncommon? Uh, depending on your level range, you'll see different boxes here, starting, I'm guessing, in 51 plus, but maybe there's boxes in the 40s. I don't know. I didn't check my other account yet. So 2.35 million is the base loot value amount. Well, one chest cost me 3.2 million. So unless I've got loot crew and I solo this thing, um, I'm not even going to be able to open a box all by myself. I'm going to have to run multiples of these armadas. You're going to get regular uncommon armada credits, Borg solo uncommon, Dominion solo uncommon. So condensing some of your loops, you don't have to do as many solo armadas. You'll also get some of the new artifacts for the new temporal artifact shards. Try and unlock some of that stuff as well as materials, and ship parts, which are in here. Now, there is no I button that's telling you what your drop rate of certain things are, which is disappointing, but that's not entirely anything new. We've seen that before. Um, but you notice that you get 200 rare Zindi directives per box chest open. And again, 200 rare directives looks awesome because that's what you would normally have to pay to start a rare armada except these in this case well these cost 5000 to start so if you are opening one box even if you open it every day uh, you're looking at 25 days I don't even know what the cooldown on these boxes are because I haven't opened one yet but even if you open one box a day it would take you 25 days to get enough credits to run a rare armada. So that's what your ongoing sourcing path is. Basically, you're going to get one uncommon armada per week. And if you get enough credits or you happen to be in enough other armadas with your alliance mates that you continue to get enough credits to keep opening these boxes every day, you'll accumulate enough to do one rare armada per month. Not a big exciting new feature. Uh, what's in the rare box? Well, the rare box has, again, regular armada, solo, and dominion credits, as well as some stuff for the uh, exchange Borg cubes. And then you have some additional of the rare temporal artifacts, as well as resources, ship parts, and all the way down here, G5 ship blueprints, including the Epics and Trip Tucker and Jonathan Archer sourcing, uh, even though it's got the carryover of the regular G5 picture for officers. These are all the people who are available in the regular G5 Armada pack. They didn't update the graphic yet. <clears throat> I'm sure the art department is working right on that. Uh, but you've got the G5 miners in here, the uncommons, the rares, and the epics in the 55 to 58 level box at least. 
and we'll just hop systems real fast here and go back so we can see what kind of loot we're getting off of one of these things because the loot box, as you can see here, would cost me 320,000 to open one chest. There are no other directives sourcing out here because there's no epics yet. I'm sure if they ever do add epic armadas, they'll put the epic directives in here for your turn-ins. One chest is 320, two chests is 960, which so basically you're paying for three, but you're getting two, which is kind of a standard conversion rate for speeding things up. We see this with things like the away team store and, and other areas. But let's just fly over to this system right here so we can look and see what the turn-ins are. Again, what did I say? I said 320 is what you need. Now, obviously, again, there are loot crew options, 5 of 11, the Doctor, enterprise -E, Picard, and Data, and other things like that that you can do. To increase your payout, uh, other researches may also apply if these are considered, you know, just standard, uncommon. Uh, Armada credits, rare epic credits, you've got a whole bunch of researches that may also boost the output of those. Uh, but your rare chest's base value is 80,000 for the level 54, which is the entry-level one here in the Gunnar system. So you're killing this thing. It's 32 billion power. Your base loot reward is between 75 and 80k, and you need 320,000 to do one chest turn in. So at base value, you'd have to kill four of them without any loot crew. All by yourself, because as soon as you start dividing it, well, now it gets split up a bit. Now I'm sure, again, research is going to play a factor here. Officers are going to play a factor here. Put the doctor below deck, all that kind of fun stuff. And get yourself more credits than the face value here would show. And it probably won't be as bad. Maybe you only have to, you know, maybe two or three will be enough. Now, again, sourcing, going to take you a while to source them on your own. I'm sure there'll be bundles for sale if there aren't already. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there'll be events launching once, you know, event reset happens in a couple hours. And this new stuff will be up and available in the store probably to purchase more directives for those people who really want to get a head start on running this stuff. But uh, for most of us, this is going to be a feature that, you know, we'll do an uncommon or two. Maybe we'll get in a group or do a round robin where you just get the same six or seven people depending on how much your uh, armada capacity is run around robin six people same group everybody starts one that means you're guaranteed to stretch your one set of directives into being a part of six armadas that might be enough to source you a box or two for a couple of days um, and then just you know maybe set up another one again for the following week instead of just you know letting people call their spots or hey this is you know first come first serve whatever your alliance typically does might leave a lot of people out in the cold so this would be an op that round robins would be an option for how to maximize your loot potential so you can participate in this loop and stretch your individual directives the furthest doesn't always necessarily help the alliance in its long-term goals or depending on the, the makeup of the group. But I think you get the idea where I'm going with this. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of these new armadas, these new loot rewards, and the new pricing model for them. As always, thanks for watching and uh, see you around the galaxy.